three, two, one, go! Raspberry Pi 4, emulating better than ever. We now have Virtual Pi 4.6, and I'm gonna be taking Virtual Man's image. By the way, this is, could also be done to Wolf on Nose's image as well, as far as the updating of Virtual Pi 4.6. I'm gonna throw that in this video. I'm also gonna be adding Virtual Man's two new packs, the Dreamcast pack and the Atomus Wave pack. In a previous video, I showed you the PlayStation pack. So between all these packs, you're gonna be adding over a thousand CD-based games. So between learning how to go ahead and expanding it on a hard drive, adding the packs, checking the packs out, and updating our images to the latest RetroPie 4.6. You're gonna be all caught up. Your image is gonna be running good. You're gonna be ready to go, rocking and rolling, and emulating in no time. So we're gonna do the how-to, and then some game. Setting up your hard drive is pretty easy. Hook it up to your computer, right click it, do format, go ahead and call it pi-ext-roms. Go ahead and format, quick format, and then just say complete, and then you can go ahead and remove it from your computer and plug it into your Raspberry Pi. All right, so I have my ethernet connected, or you can set up your Wi-Fi, and I'm gonna go ahead and run the VMAN post scripts. This is gonna go ahead and update to the latest scripts where he has added the USB extension. All right that also reboots your Raspberry Pi. So let's go ahead and let it reboot, and then we're gonna go back to the options menu. All right, so our hard drive's hooked up. We updated our post script, so we have the latest script for this um, you know, USB mode that we're gonna be doing, the USB expansion. Go ahead and go there. Options, emula um, emulation tools, and then the, there's only one USB mode, and then there, and then uh, we click the script, and then it said disable or enable. We wanna go ahead and enable it. And right now it's running scripts. It's A, checking that there's a hard drive connected. Two, it's going to make sure it's NTS, NTFS formatted. If it's FAT32 or XFAT, it'll tell you and it'll just stop the script right there. Um, number three, it's gonna sync it up and then it's gonna start building in those file directories. And then lastly, it's gonna say thanks to Forrest at Easy Hacks and to Play for some tweaks. And uh, then you're all done. You wanna go ahead at this point, it should just turn off. Um, if it doesn't turn off, just wait a while, then power off your Pi then remove the hard drive from your Raspberry Pi USB slot and plug it back into a computer where you're gonna be transferring the ROMs. Another option though is you could just turn it back on and then do this all through the network as well. Just go up to your Windows Explorer, type it in, and it should automatically find it. Should get into our Pi here, we have our ROMs. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete my Thomas Wave. Go ahead and delete it. And then I should have it on here now. Yeah, I already transferred it over. So this is the one I downloaded. With the game list, the new artwork, everything. Okay, so Thomas Wave is done. The other one I wanna do is go back to my Pi. Now I'm in my Pi again, remember? And now I wanna go to Dreamcast and delete all that. Now the cool thing about this is I can now, I'm now freeing up space on my SD card as well. So I can go ahead and add another system or add some more ROMs, Amiga, whatever. So I got it deleted off of there. And then um, what do I wanna do? Oh, I wanna transfer it to my hard drive. So now I gotta go down to Dreamcast. Okay, oh, it looks like I already did it. I'm good. <laughs> so Control A, Control C, and then Control B it over. And then now we're gonna turn off our Raspberry Pi, unplug this hard drive from our computer, plug the hard drive into the Pi, and then boot up the Pi. All right, the moment of truth. Hey, here it is. And now we have all these Atomus Wave games on our and Dreamcast. Cool. And how many total? Where does it say the total? 285 Dreamcast and 30 Atomus Wave. That looks good. That looks really good.
a rocking the 800 PlayStation games, which I did in a previous build as well. Um, as far as updating this to RetroPie 4.6 to get some of the new emulator cores and things, it's not a huge deal yet, but it's always good to be on the latest in case you want to add stuff and edit it later. And uh, as you see, I'm on 4.6, but all I did was you want to update the RetroPie script, say yes. It's going to run it. It's got your latest version. And then it's going to update. Pretty simple process. And then it should say 4.6 up there at the top. And then you just want to go to manage packages. RetroPie. I don't know why I went back there. Manage packages and then core packages and then update all core packages. Just click this. And I already did it. So I'm already all up to date. Um, Virtual Man might have some, you know, fixes and things. I think you mentioned like Jazz the Jackrabbit had a slight issue or you know, but for the most part, I've been playing it now for a couple days now, you know, for well, almost a week, and um, I haven't seen any uh, major issues. All right, we gotta try Metal Slug 6. So, you know, it takes a little bit of time to, to load up, but this USB 3.0 is pretty fast. For those of you aren't aware, I mean, if you, if you had an SSD correctly mounted to your Pi, it is gonna be faster than a micro SD. Now this USB 3.0 drive, it is a spinning drive, so still plenty good. Like it's not, I don't feel like I'm really giving much up. The reason in the past I've been so gung-ho about, you know, just go buy a 512 gigabyte SD card, because for the average newbie or somebody who's not used to any of this, it's just way easier to drag and drop, burn it, boot it up, you're going. Nothing else to do. Some of you out there like to tinker, mess around, or you just want to save some money and get it. Um, this looks great, by the way. Marco! Mission one, start! No blood. The sound on this is great, though. Thank you. Heavy machine gun. Enemy chaser.
All right, fun times indeed. A lot of really great games. This next game, if you have um, the uh, Rumble Pack on your Xbox 360 controller, it um, actually does give feedback, which is pretty cool. So that makes this game kind of fun. But uh, overall, I'm digging it. Like I said, the speed is not an issue. That's what a lot of things in the past, with the Raspberry Pi 3, those are issues. But now with the Raspberry Pi 4, you get USB 3.0 support and it's running really good. As I mentioned, I've installed now three packs, the PlayStation pack, the Dreamcast pack, and the Atomus Wave pack. And V-Man himself is working on a PSP pack and maybe more to come. One thing I noticed with the Dreamcast pack was that you might still be able to add like even more Dreamcast games because I know there's like 600 games in the catalog. But he did add some rare games into it and some, you know, um, I don't know if they're hacks, but they were like, you know, uh, creator made like the um, Street Fighter collection and things like that. You'll find that at the top of the list with stars. And here I'm just scrolling through the whole collection if you want to see which games were included. Um, overall, this gives a lot of potential. If you want to just run your whole image off a hard drive, I did a separate video on that. But the ability to add a really large CD collection is really great to get, you know, more than a terabyte worth of uh, games. And especially now that we get into Dreamcast and PlayStation and PlayStation 2, you know, you really do need a lot of space for that. So this is a good solution. So really good stuff. It's running great. New Retro Pi. I'm loving this image. It's now I've got it where I want it. Maybe just a little bit more customization, but that's what I think. I'm liking it. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.